Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and friends Inshallah you guys are well So we're back We're back with the GDM show It's been a while It's been quite a while But Inshallah this time we're back for good And we're going to be consistent And we're going to be putting out much better content than ever before So we're here with brother Hamza today Assalamu alaikum bro Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh How are you bro? Alhamdulillah very How's good How's everything? Very, very Family good? Very, very good, good. How are you? Alhamdulillah good? good Excellent So today we're going to be covering a contention to start with right So not an argument but a contention and the argument we've mentioned in videos before, which is a design argument. Yes. Now, in summary, the design argument is that there's design in the universe, there's laws, there's order, there's constants and quantities which are fine-tuned. And the best explanation for this is that there's a designer. Not chance, not necessity, but a designer. Yes. Right? So basically that there was, there's laws in the universe, there are constants, which means fixed numbers in the fixed universe, are not dependent on the laws of the universe. If these were changed by a little bit, a hair's breadth, yeah. You want to have a universe that allows me and you our sure. existence. Okay. Fantastic. So therefore, we're saying the best explanation is that there must be some kind of designer. Sure. As one physicist said, someone's monkeyed with the physics. Yes. Okay. And dialed the the dials in. Yeah. Precisely. Okay. But the, what the contention we're addressing is that well, we can't make such a claim. We can't claim that it's design because there's no mathematical probability, right? There's no there's not many or 100 or 200 or 3,000 universes that we've observed and we've seen how they work. Therefore, we can conclude this about our universe, right? So this, this is essentially what they're saying. Okay, I'm not sure what they're saying is this, is that you're saying that it's highly likely that there must be a designer for the universe yeah. based upon the constants and the laws in the universe. Mm. But you can't claim likelihood because they're assuming it's a mathematical yes. likelihood, a mathematical probability. Because mm. they're saying for it to be a mathematical probability, you, know, you need a probability distribution. How can you have that? You don't have another universe. Yes. You don't have other universes that you observe, so you can't even claim anything concerning mathematical probability. Sure. Therefore, just be quiet. There is no design because you can't even claim that it's so likely. Because the minute you say likely, you're assuming a mathematical probability. You can't have a maths probability in this case because we don't have another universe or set of universes. Mm. So this is how we address uh, with the contention. Yep, and the yeah. contention was made recently, if I believe, is the big question of the question time on BBC. The big question. By Arif Ahmed and you. Dr. Arif Dr. Ahmed Dr. from Arif Cambridge. Ahmed, yep. He, in his kind of eloquent way, he basically said, you know, there is no distribution. Let's play the clip. Uh, okay, let's do let's that. Let's play the clip. Let's do that. If we look at the specific argument concerning the so-called fine-tuning of the universe for life, that is to say... Mm. You know, the particular values of certain physical mm. constants is so specific that had it been different by, say, one part mm. in 10 to the power of 100 or something, there would have been no life in the universe. That's, that's the, the argument. That argument assumes that this dispensation would have been very unlikely to have arisen by chance. We have no reason whatever to think that. The only reason to think that something like that is unlikely is if we have some grounds for establishing some particular probability distribution in advance. The only way to establish such a distribution in advance is through repeated trials of universes being created. So as you can see what he said here is you can't claim mathematical probability as we just discussed. And he challenged us and I really wanted to say something but I wasn't given the opportunity. As you know, the big questions, they're not conducive. It's not conducive to lots of intellectual debate and dialogue as you know. So. This is how we address the issue. Dr. Arif Ahmed, not just him, but many others who he's taken this argument from, has conflated mathematical probability with epistemic probability. I know that's a big term. Big words. This, yes. Can you explain both of those? So words? we know what mathematical probability is. Epistemic probability is basically what you would say. Let me give you an example. It is highly likely that the dinosaurs were extinct, extinct because of a meteorite. This is not mathematical probability, sure. it's, a, it's a epistemic, a knowledge, a, a rational, rational probability because it's based upon our background evidence. Mm. The evidence we have concerning the earth, concerning the current science that we know, the, and concerning other pieces of empirical evidence sure. that we have at hand. And whatever yeah, so mean. we take that all on board and then we basically make a conclusion. Sure. And based on that evidence, we're saying this evidence supports hypothesis H. Mm. What's hypothesis H in this instance? That the dinosaurs were extinct via meteorite, right? Right, okay. Now, let me give you another example. You have a man, he's passed away. He got shot in the head, bro. Sure. Yeah? And we have two suspects, his daughter or his wife. Mm. So we look at the evidence E, if it supports our hypothesis H. So we have a hypothesis, which is the wife killed the father. That's our, our hypothesis. Right. So let's look, let's look at the evidence E. Does it support our hypothesis? So the evidence is this, the daughter, she was, on, she was in Los Angeles during that time, Los Angeles, she was on a party on a holiday, right? 
The wife, however, she was seen in the area at that time of the death, the time of death, and also her fingerprints are on the gun. Sure. And the gun has his blood on it and it's right next to him. So we look at the evidence and we're thinking, what does that evidence do? Does that evidence support hypothesis H? Hmm. And in this instance, it's the fact that the father was murdered by the, the wife, wife. Yeah. or does it support the hypothesis that the father was murdered by the daughter? No, it supports the hypothesis that it was the wife and it negates the, that it could exactly. be the daughter. Exactly, and the evidence itself mm -hmm. actually denies the other hypothesis that the daughter killed the father because sure. she has an alibi. She was in Los Angeles, for example. Mm -hmm. So the evidence E supports hypothesis H. So let's apply this to the universe, bro. Oh. We have these amazing laws, mm. the strong nuclear force, the law of gravity, the electromagnetic force, all of these laws. And if they were changed, we won't have a universe that allows our existence. Let's look at the other evidence. We have these constants, these fixed numbers that are not dependent on the laws of the universe. Mm. If they were changed by a hair's breadth, sure. we would, like the gravitational constant, for example, we wouldn't have a universe that has me, you and everybody else in it, right? So that evidence E supports what hypothesis? Design or chance? Well, it's design, quite clearly. Exactly. Using our rational minds and <laughs> exactly. reasoning over the evidence. That's the point. Now, there's no mathematical probability mm. here. It's an epistemic probability, which sure. is based upon the evidence you have at hand. You just basically form a, the most rational conclusion. For sure. example, I'm looking at your amazing glasses, bro, right? Thank you. you. You've told me that they're for a purpose. You're looking at them so you could actually, you're looking through them so you could see objects more clearly. Sure. And coupled coupled with other background information that I have, I formed the conclusion that those glasses were actually designed. Right? Because the evidence I have, I have at hand that they use to, for a particular purpose to look at objects clearly and all, the, all other kind of evidence that I have about objects that look like glasses, they have been designed. That evidence is support of the fact that the glasses have been... Designed, basically. Exactly. That's it, bro. That's it. So uh, he, he, he did a mistake. So not just Dr. Arif Ahmed, he's an intelligent chap, but it's other intelligent chaps, or so-called sure. intelligent chaps, that he's derived this argument from. It's very simple. He's conflated mathematical probability with epistemic. Sure. This has got nothing to do with mathematical probability. It's epistemic. The evidence E supports hypothesis A H. The evidence that we have fine-tuned laws and constants is support of the hypothesis that there is a designer not that is based on chance sure. and by the way this argument does have more complex arguments like the multiverse etc of course it's but we will address them at another of course there's more many more shows another that show. are coming and brothers and sisters make sure you share, stay tuned because we're having loads more more consistent shows and shows add something yes so by the way brothers and sisters this goes to show that just because someone sounds clever and he's from cambridge it doesn't mean what he's saying is absolutely that, right if there's a take-home message that's the message. And, and by the way by the way this applies to me as well we all could be wrong yep. and the thing is we just want to improve comment like, follow, yep. and we're going to continuously improve and, and just improve. And I'm just chatting rubbish now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last mission, brothers and sisters, make sure you subscribe to the Mission Dawa YouTube channel because eventually we will be moving this show to the Mission Dawa channel permanently. So make sure you just go on over, subscribe there, and stay tuned, inshallah, for the next show. Jazakallah khair for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.